Hi, it's Paul Jackowitz of GiantsExtra.com, and today I want to talk about, of course, the Giants-Eagles um, Week 17 matchup coming up this Sunday, where both teams will be finishing up the season against one another, and of course, they're both not going to the playoffs. Of course, the Eagles just lost last week to the Redskins, which, of course, helped Washington clinch the NFC East, and the Giants that knocked them out as well. Um, but both teams still going to play for pride. Of course, they both don't like each other, being division rivals. A uh, key, though, could be, hey, the Eagles, they don't have their head coach. They just fired Chip Kelly. Um, that doesn't mean they're going to lose. But, you know, it's you gotta be, you got to wonder where this team is going to be mentally, knowing, that, hey, we don't even have a head coach really anymore. Um, you know, we just lost the Redskins pretty bad. We were out of the playoffs. But you have to imagine also, once again, on the other side, that, hey, we want to beat the Giants. We, we manhandled them earlier in the season. Let's do it again, you know. And the Eagles really gave the Giants a lot of problems when they got after Eli Manning. As you remember, right tackle Marshall Newhouse had a hard time against Connor Barwin. Barwin got the best of him all night. Newhouse is actually in the concussion protocol this week, so we don't even know if he plays, if he's going to play. If he doesn't play, Bobby Hart will probably start in his spot. Um, but what the Giants will probably do is move Justin Pugh out to right tackle and put Hart in at guard where Pugh is. Um, but that might actually be an upgrade. Who knows? I thought Hart actually has played better than Newhouse, but... I could be wrong, but I think Hearts looked a little bit better this season. Um, but, you know, the Giants, also DeMarco Murray, he has not really been effective lately. I believe though he scored last week, but he gave the Giants a lot of problems early in the season. Actually, actually that game was the game where you kind of saw, okay, maybe DeMarco's not going to be too bad this season. Then, of course, Chip Kelly pretty much benched him later in the season. But he could give the Giants some problems. The Giants done pretty well against the run this season. Not great, not terrible, but... Keep an eye on that. DeMarco Murray, Darren Sproles, even Ryan Matthews. I could see Matthews giving the Giants a hard time, especially with his runs to the outside. He's got a great quick – he's very quick and has a nice burst to the outside that, that could give their, this Giants defense a tough time. Um, of course, though, you got Odell Beckham Jr. coming back. He was just suspended for that one game um, this past week against Minnesota after, of course, this incident with Josh Norman. But, you know, he's been hot. Even even when he decided to get back in the game, I guess you could say mentally, against the Panthers, look, he had a huge catch in the fourth quarter, also had a touchdown catch. He looked good. Aside from, obviously, obviously the incident, he's been on fire lately. The Eagles secondary with Byron Maxwell has been a mess this season. Look for uh, Beckham to have a huge game this week. I think John's will pull it out. Let's also, you know, they also probably getting the feeling this team maybe that okay, this could be Coach Colvin's final game. Let's play hard for him. I don't know. I think they'll pull up the win and hopefully finish the season seven and nine instead of six and ten. I'll say the Giants will win this game, thirty-one twenty-one. All right, let me know your comments below. What do you think? Who's going to win this game? Also, please subscribe to our channel here so you don't miss any uh, any of our Giants videos. And uh, thanks for watching.